Well, a good day to you all, and there's nothing like a cafe and kick to start your day. That's right, here I am, I'm getting a coffee at Harry's Kitchen. All right, thanks girls, thank you, thank you. bye. So here I am at Harry's Kitchen at Dulwich. There you go, that's where I get my coffee in the morning. Mmm, that's lovely. That's right, you can't beat a good coffee. Oh, that is beautiful. Cheers, Harry. I really needed that to start my day. Ah, but it's not just uh, people that need their uh, coffee and cake to start the day as well. That's right. Hey, bus. Would you like some coffee? Would you like some coffee to wake you up in the morning? Now, I bet you're thinking, Anton, are you all right? Are you feeling well? I mean, you just asked a bus, do you want some coffee? Well, I'm going to ask again. Do you want some coffee, bus? Where do you want it? Is it this one? Um, yeah? Would you like some coffee? Am I crowing crazy? I'm not going crazy, honest. If only buses could drink coffee. Ah, lovely. I'm not joking, I'm being serious. Buses, buses drink coffee. Anton, you need to get a grip of yourself. What are you saying? This is what I'm saying, look. It says in the paper, London buses to be powered by coffee to tackle emissions. It's there, look, it's in the paper. That's right, you saw it here first. It's not just London commuters, it says. Getting a caffeine kick to start the day. Now it's the capital's buses too. That's right, London's buses are drinking coffee. <laughs> yes, it says starting, obviously this has started uh, November 2017, so it's been going for about, what, six or seven months now. It says here that waste coffee grounds are being used to help power some of London's buses in a new initiative from Shell and tech firm BioBean. And this will see a biofuel made partly from waste coffee grounds added to the London bus fuel supply chain. Now, the firms think that this could help tackle emissions in the capital. Tackle emissions in the capital with coffee? With this? Huh? That's right, buses, keep drinking coffee. And uh, we might have a smog-free uh, London. <laughs> well, no, uh, obviously it says BioBean is collecting some of these waste coffee grounds from high street chains and factories. The average Londoner drinks 2.3 cups of coffee a day, and all that consumption produces more than 200,000 tonnes of waste every year. And that is with much of it winding up in landfill. Now it says here so far that 6,000 litres of coffee oil have been produced, which BioBean said could help power the equivalent of one London bus for a year. Wow, that is amazing. So it seems that 6,000 litres of coffee oil, yes, that's a lot of coffee. 6,000 litres of coffee oil will help fuel one of these buses for a whole year. So ladies and gentlemen, let's start uh, drinking uh, coffee, more coffee, and we'll get more buses uh, Drinking coffee too. <laughs> That's right, it was a bit of a crazy video this one, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you, BioBean. I look forward to seeing uh, coffee fueled buses in the future. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel. Double the count on, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. <laughs>